Hi everyone, my name is Norman, I run the blog NimbleNeedles.com and today I want to test the four most popular interchangeable knitting needle sets for you. Which one is the most durable? Which one allows for the fastest knitting? And ultimately, which one is the best interchangeable needle set for you? I bought a big set from Chiaogu. Here, here, Adi and Nitra's Pride. And I'm going to look at the most important differences and communalities you need to know. So, let's dive right into it. I'll split this review in four parts. First, we'll take a look at the general systems and how they work. Then I'll take a close look at the knitting needles and how they differ. And equally as important, I'll take a look at the cables. And last but certainly not least, I'll talk about price and what you actually get for your money. So let's start with part one, the interchangeable knitting needle system. So in front of me are needles from all four big brands. We got Adi here, 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 Chiago here, and Knitter's Pride here. Knitter's Pride, Chiago, and here, here, all got screws. So what you do is you pick up the needle and the cable, and then you screw them together. They all provide a little key and you can insert this to get some leverage and really tighten it up. Adi is the only brand that operates with a slightly different system. So here you sort of have to click uh, it in and then you turn it around counterclockwise and then there is a tight joint. So how do these differ? In the case of Knitter's Pride, the screws are on the cables and you screw them into the needles while with here, here and Chia Goo, you screw the needles into the cable. The cable keys or the keys you need to screw them tight are pretty similar as well. So I don't think these minor differences really matter when it comes to knitting. What does matter, however, is how smooth the join is and how tight it is. So let's zoom in a bit. I joined all the needles to their respective cable and we have Adi here, Knitter Sprite here, Chiago here, and this is here, here. And in my opinion, I don't know how well you can see this, but I feel that Chiaogu has the most seamless join of them all. Here, here is very similar, but I found the quality to be less consistent. So there are sometimes little steps here, and the same could be said about Nitra's Pride. Adi also has quite this big step here, but it's somewhat tapered so you don't notice it while knitting all that much but it is there. I'm going to try to hold it into the camera. As you can see Adi has this well step it's maybe half a millimeter but with Chiagu there's nothing there's literally nothing there while uh, here here and Nitra's Pride have a little noticeable join here but it's, you know, the differences are very, very small. So how tight is the join? Um, I would say the differences are tiny at best. I have to say that in my experience, the Knitter's Pride are probably the tightest. And, you know, even if you apply a lot of force, you can't uh, unscrew them. And the same can be said about uh, the here, here. With Chiago, I sort of have the problem that I, when I put a lot of force, 
I can unscrew them even um, when I use the key. And for Adi, the system is incredibly tight and no matter how hard you screw, um, they won't come undone. However, when you push stitches onto your needle like you will do, you can trigger the mechanism sometimes. I don't know, this doesn't work, but sort of when you, because to unscrew it, you have to press and then it works. And some knitters say this has happened to them. It never happened to me, but uh, I've read reports online that this so which one is the best that's quite honestly impossible to say I sort of like the Adi system and the Knitter's Pride but it, it also has to be said that Chia Gu is the most seamless uh, joint so it really depends on your personal preferences they are all not perfect so let's take a closer look at the most important part, the actual knitting needles. They differ quite a bit and I think here you'll find the differences that matter the most to knitters. I mean we can argue cables all day long but it's the needles you're knitting with. So we have here, 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 Knitter Sprite here, Chiaogu here and Adi here and as you can clearly see the, um, the last two are quite a bit bigger than the other two despite them all being marketed as five inches so I feel Chiagu or um, Adi are bigger better for people with bigger hands. Let's take a close-up look at the tips. Again this is here here Knitter's Pride, Chiagu and Adi and quite clearly the here here tips are the sharpest of the lot by far and this could be a big advantage for lace knitters. The rest of the tips are more or less the same, though the taper of the Knitter's Pride needles is considerably shorter than Adi and Chiao Gu. But Knitter's Pride also has the smoothest transition with no kink. And when we look at the ends of the needle, you will also notice that Knitter's Pride clearly has the smoothest transition. Both here, here, and Chiao Gu got a somewhat short transition here, and you will notice the difference when you are a tight knitter and got a lot of stitches on your cables. Otherwise, it probably doesn't matter all that much. So, I quickly want to address the materials used. Chiao Gu and here, here are both pure stainless steel. Knitter's Pride coats the needles with chrome while um, Adi has a two-layered coat. First there is a thin layer of copper and then a thin layer of white brass. And there is to my knowledge no nickel in any of these needles in case you have allergies. All four needles are hollow and extremely lightweighted. The differences are so tiny, um, they're not really worth mentioning. These here, here needles are 8 gram and the Adi needles are 10 gram to give you an idea what I'm talking about so you really won't feel the difference. What you will notice however is uh, the co coating or no coating. The Knitter's Pride and the here, here, uh, sorry, the Adi needles are super slick and allow for much faster knitting. The here, here, and Chiaogu needles have quite a bit of friction, almost like a wooden needle, I guess. So if you're knitting a sweater in pure stockinette stitch, that will matter. If you're knitting lace where you typically knit slower, the higher friction can actually be an advantage as the stitches are less likely to drop when you're knitting a complicated stitch at the very tip of your needles. In terms of sheer durability, I'm really reluctant to name a winner. None of these needles ever broke while I was using them. I heard reports online, but to be quite frank, you will find stories for all four brands. 
So I don't know, I have to say that all of them did end up crooked after a long time of knitting with them and some of them have, you know, little kinks here and there. But still I feel the big difference, or rather the difference that matters the most in my opinion, are uh, really the material, so coated or non-coated, and the differently shaped tips. So let's take a look at the cables next. Here you will find a couple of differences as well, though admittedly they are less pronounced. A lot of knitters love the Chiaogu red twist cables. All the other brands only got plastic cables and these are coated metal wire. You probably can't see this, but um, why do so many love them? Well, they got zero memory effect. So how, no matter how you curl them up, they will always come out straight. So for a flat project, that's definitely a bonus. On the downside, they're really not the best cables for magic loop. So you can only bend them so far. Here the uh, thin here here cables or uh, the Adi cables which are slightly thicker are much better. But it also has to be said that the Adi C has the biggest memory effect. So they bounce back into a curled loop and get these little kinks all the time. You can easily massage these out or you know, just pour a little bit of hot, hot water on them and then everything is solved. But still, um, I feel like mentioning this, the uh, Knitter Sprite cables are somewhere in between. It's the thickest cable of them all, but I really have to say, even though the here yeah, yeah, cable is really, really flimsy, they hold. And the weakest link is always the join here. And you will find knitters reporting how the cable snapped out of the hull for all uh, four brands. So it really boils down to your personal preferences. If you're knitting flat, I think uh, the red twist cables are the best. And otherwise, I actually like the knit the sprite cable because they're a bit thicker but I also don't tend to knit a lot in Magic Loop. What I do have to mention here is one, well, rather annoying fact here. Both Chiaogu and Hia Hia offer very small needle sizes. Chiaogu goes down to 1.5 millimeters, while um, the smallest knitted Sprite needle is uh, 3 millimeters. But if you buy a large Chiagu set like this one, you have to work with two different needle sets. So this is the cable for the big needles and this is the cable for the small needles. And a small actually starts at five millimeters. And I personally really don't like this fact because essentially this means you need two full sets of different cables uh, with here here it's the same. So this kind of contradicts the basic idea behind an interchangeable needle set of having one set of cables you can use for all needle sizes. I mean on the plus side you get to enjoy these really small needle sizes but uh, the divide is actually at five millimeters. So if you get a big Chia Goo set like this one, you will need a different cable for uh, four millimeter needles and six millimeter needles or a size six, um, 10 and size six. And, but both are fairly popular sizes. So that's definitely a bit annoying. If you only knit with needles to either side of the divide, it obviously doesn't matter all that much, but still. Last but not least, we have to talk about the price and the general content of the boxes. At the time of producing this video, the Chiagu Big 5 inch lace set was around 
155 US dollar. The big here, here, big lace set sold for around 154 US dollar. The Adi set was around 105 US dollar. And the standard uh, Knitter Sprite Nova Platina set was around 70 US dollar. If you look around, you will find big bargains here and there, and I urge you to look out for them. But as you might understand, I can't take these discount prices as a basis for my review. The sets don't all have the same content. The Nitrous Pride set usually comes with nine needle pairs. Um, Adi usually has eight. Uh, both Chiagu and Nitrous uh, here, here, sorry, uh, usually have uh, 30 needles. So if you do the math, this means you pay around 12 US dollar for both the Chiagu and the here here set per needle around 13 us dollar per pair of adi needles and around seven dollar 80 for each knitter's pride needle pair so at the end of the day these are the numbers that might matter the most because i mean you do have to ask yourself the question do these minor differences make up for the drastic price differences? But let's take a look at the contents. Like I already said, my Knitter's Pride Nova Platina set is a bit older and it came in this beautiful hardwood box. But um, the new sets usually come in this uh, plastic bag, which is actually remarkably durable, but um, it has nine. Um, needles typically whereas my set only had eight they all have eight of these um, plastic cable stoppers you can attach to uh, the cables so you can put your work on hold then you usually get four cables and four of these cable keys and that's it you don't get any cable extenders or extras or whatever it's just the set but it's also the cheapest of the lot the Chiaogu set comes in this little pouch. I'm personally not the biggest uh, fan of zippers, but the bag is sturdy enough. You get 30 needles, like I already said, and I personally love the fact that the needles, you'll find the needle sizes uh, printed or stitched into uh, the little slots and Again, you will find uh, the needle sizes on the needle, so that definitely makes things a lot easier to organize it. And then you get quite a lot of gimmicks. So, you get six cables, but remember, um, these are three for the bigger needles and three for the larger, so it's actually just three, ne three cables. Then you get uh, stitch markers, well, the needle size card, but it's actually a bit flimsy, so I don't know if I would be using these. And then um, you get these very um, sturdy cable stoppers, two uh, cable keys, and two cable extenders, one big and one for the smaller cables. You can use them to um, uh, stitch two uh, cables together for a longer cable. I personally don't understand why there's just two of these pins. I mean, uh, they get easily lost and why aren't there four of them? Uh, I bet one of them costs one cent, so it really wouldn't matter a lot. So last but not least, this is the Adi set or one of the Adi sets available. I personally love this bag. It actually looks a bit, I don't know, like a bag you would wear with a cocktail dress. It's made of fake leather and has just the perfect size. Inside you will find two rubber patches, uh, three cables and eight needles. And then there is this cable extender. I really don't like it. It's just too large to um, connect two cables together, but you can use it as a, a cable um, a stopper on, uh, so you, to put a work on hold. I feel this is the nicest box, 
box, but the contents are kind of sparse. It's basically German efficiency, everything you need and not a lot more. So let's put things together. I don't want to name a winner here because you really have to understand that we all knit with different techniques. There's not just continental knitters and English throwers. There's so much more. The way I purl is probably a bit different from the way you purl. And that's why whenever anyone tells you these are the best knitting needles, you can ignore that advice because what works for me might not work for you. Instead, this review is meant to show you the differences so you can decide for yourself what suits your style, your budget and your requirements. Maybe you're a lace knitter, maybe you're a stockinette stitch knitter and depending on these requirements you might want to choose a different set. They are by far the cheapest set. The chrome coating here is pretty slick and actually I feel they are the fastest to knit. Uh, the transition here towards the end and towards the tip is the smoothest and they are also pretty pretty quiet on top of that. On the negative side um, the tips are not the sharpest and the taper is quite short and most sets come in these cheapish plastic bags. Still, because of the price, I feel these are the perfect entry level set and I do have to mention that um, this set is the one I knit the most with. So Chiao Gu, these needles are quite the workhorse. The pouch is quite nice and a lot of people love these red twist wire cables. The needles are also quite sharp and perfect for lace. They are not coated, so probably not the fastest for plain stockinette stitch. I love the fact that they are available in all these super small sizes, which I personally love knitting with. And uh, the join between the cables is also the smoothest of all of the sets. I don't like the fact that you need two different cables uh, for the different uh, needle sizes. So instead of putting these cheap trinkets into the sets, I feel they should focus on more cables and more cable keys. But well, that's uh, how it is. So here, here, I love the ultra sharp tips. They are truly a lace knitter's dream come true. I'm not the biggest fan of the stainless steel finish because it does create quite a lot of friction and weird sounds as you knit. And the bags are not all that logical to me and actually I think they produce the worst bags of them all. The needles are also the shortest of the lot so people with big hands might get problems with these. On the plus side, they probably offer the biggest range of possibilities you can construct using the various adapters and extenders. But like I already said, you will need different cables for the bigger needles, so that's definitely something you need to consider as well. But perfect for lace knitters. So here, here, Chiagu are pretty similar. And so the main difference is here, Chiagu offers smaller needle sizes, here here only goes down to 2mm and um, Chiagu has the better cables while here here has more combinations, sharper needles and is a bit faster to knit. So Adi, this is probably the most expensive option for people in America. Um, they are quite a bit cheaper here in Europe and it has to be said that Adi has been producing knitting needles since 1829. So they definitely have a long history and a lot of experience. For people who hate screws connecting the cables to the needles, this can be an excellent option. The needles are super slick as well and very fast. and I personally love the fact that you have that they offer these mixed sets 
big where you have um, round and sharp tips in one set because you know a lot of lace patterns they have only knits and pearls on the wrong side so you can use the sharp tips for the right side with all the complicated uh, decreases and increases and the round fast tips for the return row the pouch is nice as well but it does come with the least amount of accessories but Adi also offers a lifetime guarantee so I had problems with two of these needles once and I sent them an email with a picture and got a replacement per mail within two weeks so that's definitely something you need to consider as well anyway that's it that was my review of the four big interchangeable knitting needle sets I really hope I was able to provide you with a nice overview I know this video was a bit longer than usual, but I wanted to put you into a position where you can decide for yourself which needle set is best for you. So, give me a big thumbs up if I succeeded. Comment um, which needle set you like best. Maybe you already had some experience, tell me. And then of course, consider subscribing to my channel if you don't want to miss any new videos. Happy knitting!